Grant Imahara here to announce Mauser's newest challenge, designing innovative features for the autonomous vehicle of the future. And what better way to do that than while standing next to a self-driving shuttle? Right, Ollie? I am sorry. I did not catch that. Did I mention it has Watson language processing on board? You did not. But you have now corrected your thoughtless error. Sorry, buddy. Won't happen again. I'm here at Local Motors facility in Maryland to talk about Mauser's joint project with this innovative company that created a driverless electric shuttle named Dolly. This is Chris Stadler. Hey, Chris. How's it going, Grant? Good. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at Local Motors? Sure. Local Motors is a car company uh, that uses co-creation to build cars and then print them using direct digital manufacturing in micro factories. Let's talk about the direct to digital manufacturing. Direct digital manufacturing is essentially when you can actually you know, ship out the drawings to someplace remote, and then they can just do all the printing there. And by printing, you're talking about 3D printing. Exactly. A yeah. full-size vehicle. Yeah. That makes everywhere that you have one of these machines local. Yeah, it can respond to local needs. So if you have an engineer on the ground and you end up uh, you know, sending over something and they say, you know what, I actually like to, I'd like to hack this a little bit. And so they yeah. can hack the 3D drawing, and then they can create something that's more optimized for their location. Now, Mauser isn't just creating a 3D printed car, which is already cool. We've actually asked our engineering community to come up with design features that would be useful for a driverless car, with this Strati as a starting point. Okay, Matt, so we're sitting here in an actual Strati, what we base this competition on. Let's go over some of the examples that we provided our community for the challenge. If the vehicle's doing the driving, uh, the steering wheel kind of just becomes an obstacle, it's in the way. Yeah, I mean, when I think about a car that's doing all the driving and I don't have to concentrate on it, I could kick back and bring up a giant screen and I can binge watch whatever it is I wanna watch and relax. Yeah. So what's the best case scenario for this challenge? That we get some amazing idea that would make a lot of sense in a future Strati. So potentially, you could use ideas developed by engineers participating in the Mauser contest and future models of Strati. Yeah, absolutely, we hope to. So Matt, what do you say about letting me take this vehicle out for a test drive? Well, this one's just a demo, uh, but we could take the one here behind me, the swim, we could take that out for a drive. Yeah? Yeah. I think we have to. All right. For science. For science. Yeah. <laughs> On the way to the circus. Hey, we got an electrical and mechanical engineer. Right. What could possibly go wrong? All right, so I'm going to punch it, OK? All right. Don't freak out. So this is the swim? Right. Is that what this one's called? This is called the swim, uh -huh. the LM3D. It's the first of our series of vehicles that we plan to take towards highway certification. Yeah. So this is that first proof of concept. Because right now, you've got the Strati, which is not highway certified. Right. Ollie, which is a shuttle. Right. And then swim. Right. That's the sound of the future. Once we select the winning design, that engineer will work with me to 3D print the car and take it for a test drive. So be sure to check back when Mauser and Local Motors unveil the driverless car of the future in the Essence of Autonomy Challenge, sponsored by Maxim Integrated and Murata.